Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking to you about my truck, what, what I've done to it so far, and what plans maybe I might have for my truck later on in the near future, but we'll see. First off, I want to tell you this is the 2001 Silverado 1500 HD. This is a two-wheel drive, this is not a 4x4. Um, and first off, these 0115 HDs don't come with the full heavy-duty uh, front end. This I actually purchased it like separately. You know, the, the grill and the bumper cap, I think I paid somewhere around 140 and when I got the truck at the beginning it had a cowl hood so I took that off and I just got the regular HD hood I like this one personally better so and then let's talk about paint on eBay you can find these for 250 to 300 dollars a kit which comes a gallon of uh, paint a gallon of clear some reducers and activator like I said for 250 to 300 dollars and yes this is eBay paint I threw this myself it took me somewhere about a month to to from start to finish and uh, first I threw some 2k primer sanded the whole thing and um, you know painted clear and then waited you could wait like at least three days before you sand it and you know and polish it but I gave it a whole week until I sanded it and and polished it uh, on the bed these trucks do not come with step side but since this is a 1500 HD the, the bed comes either on regular size or on a uh, long bed or extra long bed or whatever if it's the 1500 the regular bed uh, the regular trucks they have the 1500 the crew cab short but they don't have this regular bed anyways so what I did here was I put it on Craigslist and some guy you know he said he was a construction worker he wanted a metal bed you know personally I wanted this step side bed so we came to trade and we swapped you know uh, over at our shop so that was before the paint so uh, the reason I you know decided to save some money and paint was because of course the truck was red at the beginning then I had a different color hood then I had a different color bed over here so I needed to paint it so 2k primer paint clear polish here you have it I shot it myself so overall like 350 with supplies and everything I guess um, the lift, this is a 3 inch body lift, I have nothing for suspension. This one, let me see if I can show you. The only thing, the only thing I did here was those blocks right there. Those are 3 inch blocks, uh, 3 inch height. And uh, this is like... A, two inch uh, two inch square tubing so that's what I used for the body lift I didn't have to pay for it because I had I had some square tubing left over from other projects or whatever so the only thing I bought here was the bolts some bolts I used the cab bolts for the bed so I, I used like a uh, new bolts over here in the cab which is for the cab bushing, the cab mount, plus a three inch from the spacer. So it's like a six inch, seven inch bolt, somewhere around there. So that's the body lift. Um, rims and tires, these are eight lug, 20 inch wheel. And of course your 35, 35 inch tire by 12 and a half. This is a little bit wider than the, than the wheel, so I'm assuming this is a 10 inch wheel. And let's see, did I say about the fender flares? These fender flares, I actually wasn't sure if the straight bed fender flares would fit here or if these uh, step side were only special for these step side beds. So I ended up paying $80 for these uh, fender flares just because I didn't know. So I still don't know yet, so if anybody can confirm, let me know in a comment. Do 
straight bed fender flares fit on a step side let me know also let's see let's see mirrors these are HD mirrors manual you pay like 60 bucks for those that's what you can find them nowadays for 60 bucks uh, these little rain guards uh, I think I paid like $20 that roof roof rack there you go that was from an older 90 something Ford Explorer those squared squared body Ford Explorers very ugly style and uh, so I got it off of that and I put it here full bar three bar you know new clear headlights LEDs four high mod that, that's the best decision I've made on those LEDs right there I haven't had any problems with them I've had over half a year maybe more and you know best choice these have the same socket on both connected you know the, both the same wires so these two light up while this one's off and vice versa you know so it has a beautiful switching I made another video of it but um, what else I also installed a brand new windshield this was recently because it had some cracks on it mm, I think that's it for now um, on the bed I threw this um, bed coating on it this is actually like I think 40 or 50 bucks for a gallon and I threw several coats and I still have some left over might do some more coats later on but um, what I was saying about the near future plans you know I've had this truck lifted for a while because the road to get to my house was one of those dirt roads gravel roads and you know you had to have something a little bit lifted because sometimes it does rain and it gets full of water but now that our, our roads are paved towards this way I was thinking of you know taking off the the body lift because you know let's face it 1200 bucks for another six inch suspension lift is kind of pricey for me I, I don't want to spend that kind of money right now and especially because it's it's good the way it is I don't need any higher but if I did I mean shit that's hella tight but anyways I was thinking keeping those same wheels take off those tires put some low pros take off the um, the body lift and maybe put a, a flip kit on the back and this one has um, since it has torsion bars if you loosen up the the bolt it drops from the front I don't know how much but it drops so I'll just match it from the rear and you know see what I think about it low uh, also you guys let me know what do you guys think should I drop it up like drop it down keep it up keep it lifted what do you guys think let me know so that being said Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Peace out.